Hey, what's going on guys? This is Andrew from Synology. As you know, the security of your data is very important nowadays. One of the best ways to protect your data from ransomware or malware is to have multiple copies on different locations. So in this video, I'll introduce the key features of Synology's CloudTension Backup, Hyper Backup, and Snapshot Replication. I'll guide you on how to use these tools to protect your PC and NAS. Since PCs are still the majority of ransomware victims, before we move on to the backup tools, we would like to remind you of a few crucial practices to protect your computers. First, update your operating system regularly to improve the security of your computer. Second, install reputable antivirus software to detect and fight off malicious attacks. Third, avoid suspicious files from unknown sources. And finally, disable remote access when you don't need them. Because malware often targets computers using a remote desktop protocol. To further protect your data against malware attacks, we recommend saving multi-version backups on different locations. For example, you can back up your computer data to a Synology NAS. The data on your Synology NAS can then be backed up to an external device, another Synology NAS, or a public cloud service. With multi-version backups on different locations, if any of your devices is attacked by ransomware, you can still access and restore important data with uninfected versions from different locations. Now we're going to talk about the applications that can help you save multi-version backups. The first one is CloudStation Backup, which helps you back up your data from a computer to a Synology NAS. After the first time backup, all modifications made to your data will be backed up in real time as long as there is internet connection. You can keep up to 32 historical versions for each file, allowing you to restore a file to a previous state when needed. With IntelliVersion enabled, when the maximum version number is reached, the system will determine which backup versions contain the most significant changes instead of removing backups in a purely chronological order. If you want to backup the data on your NAS to other locations, HyperBackup can do the trick. HyperBackup helps you backup not just files and folders, but also system and application configurations. With HyperBackup, the data on your NAS can be backed up to a wide range of destinations. From local destinations like local shared folders, external storage devices and expansion units, to another Synology NAS, an ArcSync server, and various public cloud services. You can schedule a backup task to run automatically at a specific time or repeat according to a schedule. HyperBackup uses cross-version deduplication, which means repeating data across multiple versions will be backed up only once. This technology can help enterprises keep multiple backup versions while minimizing storage consumption and bandwidth usage. So far, we have talked about Cloud Station Backup and Hyper Backup, and now we're going to move on to Snapshot Replication. Snapshot Replication uses the business level snapshot technology to backup data on Synology NAS models that can support the BTRFS file system. The snapshot technology can make an almost instant backup while consuming less space and system resources. This is because it records the current state of your data as a snapshot and only makes a physical copy when necessary, that is, when data gets modified. The snapshot technology can also ensure a point-in-time backup. In a traditional backup task, if you have a huge amount of data, it may take a lot of time to complete the entire backup process. If somebody modifies a file before the entire task is complete, then this task will have consistency issues. The snapshot technology can alleviate this problem. Because a snapshot is taken almost instantly, files are backed up in the moment when the snapshot is taken, which ensures that files are backed up in the state as you want. Snapshot Replication also provides a variety of recovery methods for you. Now let's take a look at this application. Now I'm in DSM, which is the operating system of all Synology NAS products. I have installed and launched Snapshot Replication, and now I'll click on Snapshots on the left panel. From here, we can take a snapshot of a shared folder or an iSCSI run. In this video, I'll take a snapshot of a shared folder called Project A, I'll select the shared folder project A and then click take a snapshot. After entering a brief description, I'll click OK. Now a snapshot of project A has been taken. Snapshot replication allows you to customize a number of settings. You can enable a snapshot schedule and have snapshots taken automatically. You can also determine how many snapshots should be retained and set up your own retention policy. If you want to let users browse snapshots within the shared folder, go to the Advanced tab and check Make Snapshot Visible. 
we will see what it looks like within the shear folder later. Snapshots can be replicated to a different volume on the same NAS or to another Synology NAS as long as the file system is under VTRFS. To create a replication task, click Replication on the left panel, specify the shear folder to be replicated, select the destination type, and then follow the instructions to complete the remaining settings. In the event of data loss, you can restore files to a certain time point by selecting the snapshot taken at that time. Just go to Recovery, select the share folder, and click Recover. You will then see a list of all the snapshots of this share folder. Each snapshot is a backup version of this share folder and is named after the date and time when it was taken. Select the snapshot you want, click Action, and then select whether you want to restore the folder or clone the snapshot with the new name. You can also recover your data from your local computer through various file service protocols, including SMB, FTP, AFP, and WebDAV. In this example, I've mounted my shared folder Project A in the Windows File Explorer. To restore the entire shared folder to a previous time point, after opening the folder, right-click and select Properties. Click Previous Versions, choose the desired version, and then click Restore. You can also recover a single file without restoring the entire folder. Within the share folder, you will see a subfolder called hashtag snapshot. That's where all the snapshots of this share folder are kept. This folder is visible because we have checked make snapshot visible earlier in the snapshot replication. Within hashtag snapshot, you can browse all the previous versions of each file and folder. You can copy any of them to any location on your computer for immediate use. So there you have it. I hope this video has been helpful. If you would like to know more in detail of the features that we mentioned in this video, please refer to our DSM help section. Thank you for watching.